Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Email World. The holiday season's here and this week is Black Friday. Generals gathered in their masses Just like witches at Black Masses this week we've got holiday season tips, Yahoo mobile updates, email addiction survey, subject line for Black Friday, and email lifecycle benchmark report. Check it out. Now it's the holiday season. This week, Thursday, we've got Thanksgiving Day, Friday, Black Friday, on to Cyber Monday. Um, with that being said, constant contact last week on Tuesday, following up from a report they did, a PDF report of how pretty much the best tactics of how to prepare for the holidays. They followed that up with a video. There's some great takeaways to this video. Firstly, the intro music. Secondly, the jumpers. If anything, it was brilliant. Um, it was live, it was given a live presentation, they walked through what you need to do in fact for a holiday, how to build the campaign, who you should be addressing, how you should test to make sure that you've covered all bases before you launch your campaigns. They went through the whole lot, if you've got offers, how to create landing pages. I recommend that you watch this video, as I say it's a bit long, it's tailored towards constant contact, but hey ho, you know, um, there's no such thing as a free lunch. Good job. Second bit of good info of the week was by Return Path. They released a life cycle benchmark report, which you can see here. Regardless of how, in fact, you collect your data, food for four, acquire, onboard, engage, retain. What the hell does that mean? So it pretty much means all the different parts of your life cycle that your members and recipients belong to. In fact, do you have match metrics for it? How are you reporting on that? How are you checking to see if it's working or not? Each section has many hints and tips and gives you statistics of things to aim for, things to take into consideration, and things to improve your life cycle. Check it out. Cheers, Return Park. Next bit of news, Yahoo Mail. They've made some development. A couple of weeks ago we had we were reporting on Gmail and Outlook. Now it's Yahoo's turn. In time for the holiday season, Matt hasten to add. So they're now looking at introducing reminders and unsubscribe for mobile users. I think this is really good. Good thing here is the unsubscribe feature that you don't no longer have to dig for it when you're looking at your emails. By all accounts, you get three seconds. If you make a mistake, you unsubscribe, you get three seconds to correct yourself. So here we go, good couple of features. One second, sorry about that. Get off your phone. Another thing to look out for with Yahoo in the future is they're looking into the unsubscription recommendations whereby they're scanning your inbox and giving you recommendations of things, I believe, that you're not looking at, you're not engaging with, they're trying to help you to clean up your mailbox. I like that feature. Okay, the next article refers to the email addiction survey which was brought to my attention by the Word to the Wise blog. Apparently, 75% of the people in the survey in fact didn't really care that you couldn't reply to a re do not reply to address which was interesting within itself we say best practice always have a reply to address the actual report comes from emailmonday.com I'll provide the link in the description below there's quite a few good interesting things here to take home firstly emails checked all the time we know that Second key takeaway from the report is 50% of unengaged members, in fact, they're waiting for that one, one time where they will engage with your newsletter, for example. So it does pay, in a sense, to keep them in your mailing list. The third part is looking at innovations within email that people could be interested in. You can download the whole report from Email Monday. Subject line of the week this week is a 20% off sweetener. This was given to me by Lee Falconer, and this was sent to him by ASOS. Now the email itself is also good, but let's talk about the subject line. So he's given an offer, first and foremost. It's, in, it's enticed him, his, him to open the email in the first place. The email itself was good. It has just four, quite simple, four GIFs, flashing boxes and whatnot. Yeah, thanks Lee for your submission. Now it's Black Friday, we've got four or five days to go. Giving you this article by Revital Agency. This article's good because it gives you a few tips of what you could use in subject line and what has worked before. That's it for this week on Email World. I hope you enjoyed the five minutes. By all accounts, stay safe on Friday. You don't need to use your elbows. There's plenty more in stock. Just look after yourselves. Until next time, have a good one. Cheers. Oh,